theater is made and why? Say yes. <laughs> was made um, 20 years ago already as um, I did origami all the time and when I showed origami to people they thought that I was a children's teacher but um, for children origami is okay but complex origami is very difficult for them and um, I, I thought I would like to show the people that origami is an art so what do I do for people so that in their mind doesn't come up that it's for children but maybe they think it's an art it's really beautiful what we see here so I found out that if I only show my hands and not my face they don't see I'm a woman or, or a human being they just see my hands they have other things to think about and so I, um, I did I made a big tent uh, and I was sitting in the tent or standing in the tent, whatever, how big it was. I put out my hands and then my hands were folding all the time and people were watching, like here in the park, people were waiting and watching what the hands were doing, just folding. And um, one day I wanted to go to Japan and then I thought, well, I would like to go to Japan, I would like to learn something from the masters, but I would like to give them also something from me. And for me was that I was in the meantime already folding origami uh, animals and flowers on music. So I made this little theater. This theater, if you see it at the back, is it's more like a like luggage. And this is the, the baggage, uh, hand luggage size for aeroplanes. So uh, the idea was that it should be on my lap and that my hands come in and that I go away and that you only see my hands and in Japan I had to try this theater because it, it was made for Japan to travel all the way um, so over there I, I did it on the street which sometimes was very strange because they don't know street theater like we know it and some all the people who were very traditional people, they couldn't really uh, like it uh, because you shouldn't expose your hands uh, to other people, not on the street. And origami is a little bit kind of holy for them. So for the younger people, it was very interesting to see this. But so when I came home, I thought, well, it was so nice in Japan. I would like to try it in Holland this summer. I tried it in Holland and uh, it still carries on for 20 years now, it just doesn't stop. And um, it's developing because I'm finding new music and new ways and choreographers uh, look and tell things about hands, what hands can do more. And so the theatre is travelling around the world all the time as it is without words, but just with music and folding. <laughs> 